Uh, Lieutenant Mark Pierce uh, with Shadow Troop 133 Cav, 3 Brigade Combat Team, 101st Airborne Division. Uh, today, or last night and into this morning, we we're out here conducting our team sticks, uh, focused on area reconnaissance, uh, and then focus uh, key tasks in that, focusing on our uh, infiltration, surveillance and reconnaissance of the area, and then our exfiltration. So some of the key takeaways and learning objectives uh, were the infiltration piece, especially with the train that we're operating in now, is finding uh, the best info routes and utilizing train to our advantage to remain unseen and unheard. And then also going into that detailed uh, uh, surveillance and reporting piece and have it be able to provide that timely and uh, accurate. So I'd say the biggest challenge uh, for our dismount teams out here and based on this, uh, this area of operations we're in is definitely the, the terrain. It's not to our advantage. Uh, in some cases, we have to utilize a lot of the micro terrain and a lot of the sparse vegetation in order to like, conceal our movements and then using that period of darkness and then our night vision capabilities to our advantage in order to get into the AO and fill in and then be able to conduct our reconnaissance surveillance and then head pull out without being seen. Yep, so this uh, translates directly into real world because we would be expected to do this no matter we don't get to choose where we fight. So the brigade will put us where they need us and we will execute that mission. Um, so we would be expected to infill period of darkness, conduct that surveillance reconnaissance, and then provide the brigade the timely and accurate intelligence that they're requesting up to them, and then exfilling without being heard. So exactly what we're doing out here is what would be expected of us in the real world. Rock Assange, Shadow Troop leads away.